Normandale Community College. They say it's your college, your community. We pride ourselves on being inclusive. They tout a diverse campus, and by that they mean the course offerings too. And this semester, they've diversified it even more, adding a Somali Area Studies course. To our knowledge, it's the first Somali Area Studies program of its kind to combine two years of language and a culture and civilization course. And this class is a hit. It's full for the semester. I really wanted to join the class badly. No luck for Shahid Dagani, but he was happy to share why he wanted to take a class like this. Like I couldn't keep a, a good conversation with my grandmother. It speaks like a heavy Somali accent, like she, and I couldn't get, like, I had to ask my mother if she could translate some of her words. Dagani says he was busy learning English, so he let his Somali slip. You could be part of a whole new group of people. Same with Moki Ahmed, who did get a spot in the class. I like that it's not just Somali kids, like there are other people who are trying to learn more about it, which I find very motivating for me. She was actually surprised to hear that one of her courses was the first of its kind. I was like, wait, so we're learning all these other languages, but this is the first Somali class there's ever been in Minnesota. Like that shook me. Are you proud to be a part of an institution that's willing to take that first step? I am. Yeah. I feel like it's very important and it tells you something about the school. Ahmed is right. This move does say something about where Normandale is headed, especially when the Department of Education is threatening to withhold federal funds from a Middle East Studies program in North Carolina because the department says the program is too favorable to Islam. After all, the Somali Area Studies Program is funded by the government. It really depends where the funding streams are coming from, who's reviewing those applications, and what are the institutional priorities at that level. Um, and so we certainly do feel really fortunate. For students and faculty here, change is welcome. And it couldn't have come at a better time. I think we need to keep in mind as Minnesotans that um, our Somali American neighbors have been here um, since the 90s. And we're in 2019, and we are, we are just at the point now where we're truly recognizing the contributions of our Somali-American neighbors and leaders and community members.